Well, here we are at the Vero Beach, Florida airport, leaving the Piper factory to give a demonstration of Piper's new top-of-the-line M600 SLS and its safety features, including what Piper calls its Halo Autoland feature. And it's ingenious. It's part of a package of safety features. After climbing to altitude, demo pilot Dan Lewis and I sample an overbank protection system that fights back if you overbank, reminding you to level the wings. Then there's a blue level button on the glare shield. If you get into an unusual attitude, push it and it will right the airplane. But the star of this cockpit is the Autoland system. Push the red guarded Autoland button and the airplane will begin a sequence of maneuvers that will take the plane to an airport and land automatically on its own. Back to Emergency auto mode. land activated. Emergency Keep auto land out. system is controlling the aircraft and will land at the safest nearby airport. Please remain calm. Avoid touching the flight controls which may interfere with auto land. Your destination is shown on the bottom of the left and right displays. Your estimated time to landing is shown on the... It begins by broadcasting a mayday over 121.5 squawks 7700 and picks an airport with a control tower, a wide runway with little crosswind, and an RNAV GPS LPV approach. On the way to the airport, it avoids terrain and weather using the terrain database and the airplane's Garmin weather radar and Sirius XM data link weather feeds. Meanwhile, we watch the system do its thing. Stow any loose articles prior to landing. You'll arrive at your destination shortly. Once the aircraft has landed and come to a complete stop, exit through the nearest door. We picked the Vero Beach Airport as our destination. We can do this because this airplane has a demonstration software load. This lets us bypass the automatic features that would normally run in a real emergency. But we want to suppress this in order to avoid an ATC disruption and shutting down the airport. The airplane descends to the final approach fix at the proper altitude and then maneuvers to nail the posted altitude and set up for the approach. The flaps and gear extend at the FAF and the auto throttle slows the airplane to 140, then 102 knots for short final. Inches before touchdown, power is reduced and auto trim brings up the nose for the flare. And there's touchdown. We're just a few inches right of the center line. Automatic braking follows, then the engine would shut down and the system would tell you to evacuate. It worked. How about that? There you have it the award-winning Garmin Autoland system in action. Thanks for coming along on the ride. Tom Horn, AOPA Live.